All right, how about this? Leighton Orient, we now know, are going to be playing in League One next season. They won promotion from League Two last night. Of course, Justin Edinburgh guided the club back to the Football League in 2019 before his sudden tragic death in May of that year. I'm delighted to say we can speak live now to his son, Charlie, who joins us live. Charlie, lovely to see you, mate. Thank you so much for coming on. What did he make of that last night? Well, I think it had all of the uh, the makings of an unforgettable night, that's for sure. Um, I was actually at the game. Um, there was red cards, there was goals, there was floodlight failures. Um, and in typical Orient fashion, I think that's what the fans always tend to say. They made it hard work, but they're over the line now and, and looking forward back to life in League One. Your dad, Justin, of course, won the, the National League title with the club. Um, but more than that, he helped restore the pride in the place, didn't he? How emotional to hear the fans singing your dad's name last night. Yeah, it's, it's ever so special. Any time, you know, I attend a game uh, with my family, but to, to be there last night, obviously, my dad also um, represented Gillingham, so it was great to be back there and see some, some familiar faces there as well. But... Look, on, on an occasion like last night where, you know, Richie, the squad, the staff, the board have done such a fantastic job in their own right um, in guiding the club back to, to League One, um, to still hear, you know, the supporters and even players that I'm, and, and members of staff that I spoke to last night um, saying that, you know, this is this is for dad, um, this is dad looking over us. And um, yeah, it, it really does make you emotional. Um, but it just goes to show what a special place my dad holds in, in all, all late and orient people's hearts, you know? Yeah, absolutely, mate. Quite right as well. And you mentioned Richie Wellens there. I mean, it has to be said, 20th in the league at one point. I mean, he's done an incredible job. Amazing, remarkable job. Um, I think quite similar to that of, of my dad. And, you know, I've spoken to one or two board members, uh, Matt Porter, who's a trustee of my dad's foundation, Martin Ling, who say that, you know, Richie's got very similar characteristics to that of my dad when it comes to, you know, being a real good man manager, but also a very good coach as well. And, um, you know, he took over the club um, near the near the relegation zone in League Two. Um, and when it, within a year, he's, he's turned that round and he's made them uh, a team that's, that's won promotion and, and are fighting for a league title, which, you know, for, for the club, for all that it's been through, um, I think it will be the first time that they'll be back in, in League One since 2015. Obviously, there was all of the the trials, the tribulations and, and the misery of them getting relegated right through into the National League. And um, what Richie's done, um, I think it's his second promotion out of League Two. He, he's becoming a bit of a, a pro and an expert at doing so. Um, but I know very much like my dad, he'll have an appetite for, for next season to, to go on and do bigger and better things with Orient and, and continue on this upward journey because it's such a special club. Um, it's a real family club um, and the supporters, um, for him to be able to give back to, to them for all that they've, they've put into him and the faith that they've instilled in him, um, I know that he'll be on top of the world and... I've spoken with him personally. He's been fantastic with me as, as Paul Terry's assistant and Matt Harold, his coach. Um, and they keep me involved where they can. And um, it was an honour to be there last night. They they allowed me to come along to the game. Um, and I want them to enjoy every bit of success that, that, that's coming their way. We saw some great shots, some fabulous celebrations in the dressing room. But of course, it's, it's job half done, isn't it? Or didn't have the chance to go and win the title at home to Crew, and that would be a very special and maybe fitting way to end this season. Absolutely. Um, I think, you know, in their minds, they'll, they'll have enjoyed last night um, and I'm sure they will do for, for the coming days and weeks, but that's that won't be the, the final job done for them. I know that they'll want to be gunning for that league title. Um, they've got some really important games left against some, some good sides that are in and around the top. So... Yeah, it'll, it'll be far from over in their minds. Of course, it's lovely to have that that assurance that you're promoted, but they'll want to go on and win that league title now. And um, as I say, a club like Orient, a big club like Orient, um, they'll, that, that will be all that they'll want to accept and, and push for now. Charlie, we really appreciate your time, mate. I, I saw the champagne flow in there last night and I wondered whether I'd be able to get you on early this morning, but we appreciate you, uh, you being with us this morning and enjoy the rest of the season and no doubt you'll be there at the weekend to hopefully see Orient lift the title. 
Thanks a lot for having me on, guys.